Anyway, it is a southern specialty, a good old country ham biscuit, and it's often the ham that makes the biscuit. Tonight, we find our Tar Heel traveler in Duplin County. Scott Mason visits a country ham house in Warsaw. Do many companies cure hams this way anymore? There are very few of us now. But there is Westwater Country Hams in Warsaw. Amazing that you ship all over the country and you don't have a website. Mm -mm. Well, that's old school. That's old school. And that is salt. They weigh 20 to 22 pounds when they come in. Less when they go out because of the salt. The salt is penetrating and it is drawing the water out of the ham. So it's shrinking, and it's just a natural process. A drying process. A dying process. You know, there may not be a lot of this type thing around anymore. Thank you, Henry West. And he was doing it the old way, wasn't he? The old-fashioned way. My dad was a true Southern gentleman. My father-in-law started this business in 1971. He built this ham house. It's like an old-timey cabin. It is, and a lot of people think it's a home when they come in. And he would tell us that this place gives me purpose. It was also bound to give him an appetite. He loved this ham business. This was his baby. Bundles of joy. Nah, but they'll just continue to shape up in the net. The net result is a naturally cured ham, but it's a three-stage process. The salt room. This represents basically the winter time of the curing process. It's cold in here, and in this room too. And what happens in here, the salt that's been absorbed in the, in the salt room has a chance to kind of equalize all the way through the ham. Then comes the aging room. A lot warmer in this room. A lot warmer, a lot warmer. This is where they like to hang out when it's cold outside. It takes about three months total before the ham is ready. So if somebody walks in and wants a ham, it'll come right out of here. It'll come right out of here. That's fresh. It's fresh. And not altogether salty, despite the salt. This ham is not that salty. It's just perfect. Perfect and popular. They're popular around here. <laughs> Have you shipped to California? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've got customers in California. It continues to grow. It continues to amaze us. How do people know about you? A lot of it's word of mouth. Westwater Country Hams, Mr. West. He would sit in this ham house every day. And he would also tend his gardens. You know, things probably were a little simpler then. But things are still old-timey now at Westwater Country Hams in Warsaw. What I'd like to teach my grandchildren is, you know, things are not brought out from the back of a grocery store. It takes some working people to produce the products that we are enjoying every day. That's a good lesson. It is. Just fascinating. Westwater Country Ham has not have not have a website rather, but it does have a phone number which you can find online. You can also just walk in and buy the ham. The ham house that looks like a cabin is located in Warsaw.